120 years ago, there was no nation of Israel. There was no Tel Aviv. There was a dreamer by the name of Theodor Herzl who thought, you know, we should have a place, a homeland for the Jewish people. Dizengoff was one of the people who said, we'd like to do that, I'd like to be part of that. And so he moved here from Europe, and when he came here, there was nothing, just sand dunes, that, literally only sand dunes in that place. They had a kind of a lottery, and they divided up land, which had been purchased at great uh, cost, and they took that land which had been purchased, divided up into plots of land, and Dizengoff got this plot that's right next to us right now. He later became the mayor of this new city called Tel Aviv, and eventually his house became one of the centers of the town. As the mayor in the town, he set up a home, but he had places for people to visit. And he came to this place, and you know what? When they began to think in terms of making this into a real nation, it was his house that became the place where they were having that discussion. In fact, on May 14, 1948, this was the place where Ben-Gurion made that Declaration of Independence. In this building, right here is where he made that Declaration of Independence. In one single day, they went from a dream to the reality of a nation. Can a nation be born in a single day? Yes, it happened right here.